Now, like we promised in the beginning, and thank you anybody who's made it through all the way, we appreciate it, that we were going to talk about the dreaded C word that we shouldn't mention. On See you next Tuesday? I think that's what most people thought. But actually, it's another word. On this week's Get Real. Get Real. All right, so the C word being consistency, bro. That C oh, word. Shit. That's the door, the you. stepdaughter of the see you next Tuesday word, because no one likes yeah, it. Dude. You can't. No one likes it, dude. In the UK, they say can't, and in Australia, that's it's it's like they teach it in school. It's okay to say. Yeah, they basically do. Yeah, it's like with their ABCs. Right. So I found this this little uh, thing. I just grabbed it. I, I thought it simplified it pretty well on how to be more consistent. Now, this can follow not only your exercise and your your um, uh, your nutrition and food and diet and all that. It's anything in your life you want to get better at, you have to be consistent. I don't care what it is. Even if you're failing 90% of the time, if it's your dream and you want to keep going and you love it and you're able, you've got to stay consistent because you never, never know. So first one. Never. And this is proven. Make one change at a time. It drops dramatically the percentage of success when you do try to change more than one thing at a time. So not saying yeah. it's not possible. Each thing on top of that makes it less and less more likely you're going to be successful in anything. So it's better to hit some one thing and hit it freaking hard and stay consistent at it and then move on to the next. Eat and exercise in a way you enjoy, which is going to be, again, I'm going to plug it every time, the new program, my rebalance program that I'm going to be releasing soon. It's about that. Because if you don't like what you're doing and it's not really part of your goal and not giving you a working towards the result that you think is more important than the trainer or other people, you're not going to stick with it. When you know it's important, yeah. you will stick with it. Whether you're forced to or not, whether you're dying, you have a broken leg or whatever. It doesn't matter. Take action even if you don't want to. I mean, we all do it every day at our job sometimes. We don't always want to go there. You've got to stay consistent. You've got to go to it every day, no matter what. Now, this one, a lot of people have. I have no problem with this. Maybe it's my OCD. Uh, maybe it was the way I was brought up. But plan ahead so you're, not, you're always prepared. I plan everything. Sure, things happen, and you have to roll with it. But I always plan. I plan, every, I plan my downtime. I plan my, my, what I'm going to cook. I plan my all around when I train people because that's the main thing. Everything goes secondary. Well, besides family, secondary to any is, is, is my job and my, my business. So that's what I do. And then whatever after that. But I plan everything. That's how I always am consistently getting my things done. Good, bad, and different, perfect, irrelevant. I'm still being consistent in getting it done. Don't let perfect be yeah, the exactly. enemy of good. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. That's that's another one. Always cheer for those little accomplishments. No matter how, if, even if there's even if there's a sandwich of crap around something good you did that week, concentrate on that good thing. Concentrate on that good thing and try a little harder the next week. Don't try to be perfect. You're never going to be perfect. Never. Make a mistake and get right back on track. If you think you're never going to screw up. You're delusional. You will always screw up. No matter what, you will screw up. Doesn't matter, but it's what happens after that. As they used to say, do you jump back up on the horse? What do you do? That's what matters. 